Hi, my name is Brian Carnes, and I'm the lead designer of Sail Power. And today I'd like to talk to you about shooting uh, cannons uh, and how that works in Sail Power, and uh, some tips as to uh, uh, how to uh, best accomplish uh, what you want to do with your naval gunnery. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, today I've got a 3D printed uh, ship as an example and I'll just kind of use this as a prop. Um, so uh, basically uh, the first thing I want to stress to you is uh, despite what you might see in the movies, uh, cannonballs don't actually explode uh, and uh, firing cannons at a ship is more about disabling it than sinking it. Now if you're using a uh, later era ship like the Age of Revolutions, you have carronades. Uh, it's certainly possible to sink ships, but uh, in in general, it's a lot easier to disable a ship than it is to sink it. So you want to keep that in mind. If you're just going to target the hull, you may have a very large hull. It might take forever to sink it, uh, depending on what kind of guns you're using. Uh, some of these ships have literally hundreds upon hundreds or even thousands of hit points. So Keep that in mind. All right, so uh, you get one die roll per one cannon. So this is not an abstracted system. So when I uh, got started with uh, writing the system, one of the things I wanted to make sure was the case is that uh, I felt like I was rolling all my cannons. Um, and uh, you know, ships, some ships are small and have six cannons, but there's also ships with 128 guns. Um, and uh, I also wanted to feel like, you know, when I rolled my dice, it felt like a broadside. So it's one die per one cannon. So you don't have a 3d6 or anything weird like that. Just 1d20 per gun. All right. Uh, you also have to pick where you're going to shoot. So basically there's three ranges you can fire at, and they act differently as far as damage when you do get hits. Um, and that is the hull, um, which the hull, if you want to sink a ship, you're going to have to target hull. Um and uh, the other thing about hull is that below deck guns, that's the only way you can hit them, is to target the hull. Now the nasty thing about below deck guns is that uh, they're harder to hit than deck guns. Uh, there's not as many instances of gun damages occurring in that range. Uh, so uh, that's, if you're looking at a ship and you were to pick a ship and you were to pick a warship, uh, one that has below deck guns is a good choice because the guns are going to be harder to hit. Um, then there's the deck. Um, most of the sail power small ships, uh, that's where you want to target. That, that's everything that's worth hitting. Their, their boarding parties there. Uh, all their deck gun crews are there. Uh, the repair crew may be there or probably will be there. Uh, so if you want to disable a ship, wrecking its deck is a good way to do that. Uh, and last but not least is rigging. Um, rigging, uh, you can obviously hit a loft crew and you hit rigging. Uh, again, uh, it's about half the hull point, so there's still a lot of hit points in the rigging. Uh, what you're really looking for if you want to disable a ship is to get a crit range uh, and take out a mast. Uh, if you take out a mast, even one, uh, they'll have to make a cascade check to keep it from taking out all the masts. So possible for you to take out one mass and literally demass the ship entirely because cascade cascade the other two masks go by the board um, if you want to take out mass um, there's a faction that does that better that's the French uh, the French Navy literally trained on the uh, art of shooting mass to disable ships they believe that if a ship can't move uh, they can pick their position and win a fight um, Whereas the British fire twice per turn because they just believe in rate of fire. So lots of fire. Um, but uh, the other way you can take out mast is with bar shot. So uh, that increases the threat range of criticals for masting. Uh, and you can read about bar shot in the uh, quick rolls or in the rule book. Um, so uh, your base odds of hitting anything with a cannon is 50-50. So, obviously, if I fire a cannon at you, uh, I either will hit or I'll miss. That's 50-50. Uh, and uh, being that uh, cannons tended to miss wide more than anything else, especially at range, 
and sail power, you roll low. So uh, your base odds of hitting anything is 10 or less on a d20. Uh, now, modifiers change that. So if I'm really close, uh, that'll give me pluses, and you'll roll through that. So, um, And uh, if I'm at extreme range, I'll take range penalties. Uh, so that's referred to as drop. So uh, if you're looking at a cannon, uh, optimum range is where I take no minuses for firing the cannon. Uh, there's uh, actually a better one, which is point blank, you get a plus two. So that's where the elevation is completely flat. And there's, there's no drop at all. Um, and then beyond that, you'll see it has a drop. So different drops, guns drop differently. So bigger guns tend to be more forgiving as far as drops. Uh, long guns tend to be more forgiving as drops. Carronades drop really fast. Uh, so um, the... If it's outside of the optimum range, you still take a shot. And you'll miss 100% of the shots you don't take, so keep that in mind. But at some point, it'll be unhittable. You know, If the drop is more than uh, a die roll you can make, then you can't hit. Uh, and at some point, you, the, the roll is, is bad enough that you know, you're risking your blowing up your cannons or decarriaging them for a, a worthless shot. So... Um, I mentioned blowing up and decarriaging. That's called a critical. Uh, so basically, ones and twenties uh, when you roll to hit uh, represents your gun uh, having a malfunction. Uh, the one is what's called a decarriage or detackle. Um, it's not something you deal with in combat. And in order to take a 800 to 2,000 pound gun and remount it, they would have to anchor the ship and reset the rigging so that they could use it as a derrick and they'd have to lift it into place and that was after the carpenter rebuilt your carriage so it's not something you're doing in combat so if you get a decarriage uh, basically the idea of that is that you overpowdered your gun you still hit because the cannonball still flies there it's not blowing up the gun it's just you overpowdered the thing and it misfires and decarriages all right the other uh critical is the 20 and that is a miss and the gun also explodes, uh, and it kills the crew. So if you had four guys manning it, all four of those guys are dead. They're literally hit by chunks of brass or iron, as the case may be. Uh, they're dead. So um, because uh, it is a one in a twenty, that that would be uh, you know two out of twenty or ten percent chance of uh, that happening. Uh, there's also a chance to save any critical that happens to you. So. If your gun blows up or decarriages, you can roll 12 or higher in a d20. It's considered a save. Uh, whenever you do make a save in this game, um, critical save, uh, you can take three haul instead of the critical. So if I roll successfully, I take three haul. That way something happened. Uh, just I don't lose my gun. Um, so uh, some common shot modifiers uh, that are... Uh, worth knowing. Uh, if you're targeting hull, you get a plus one. Uh, it's big, it's easy to hit, so you get a plus one for that. Um, if you're firing at least two guns of the same kind and same deck together, uh, that uh, counts for officer-led broadside. Uh, as long as you're within 18 inches, you get a plus two. Uh, and if you're within point-blank range, which is listed on the gun chart, uh, you also get a plus two. So if I'm firing uh, within six inches, I'm probably within point blank and broadside, so that's a plus four. Uh, then if I were targeting the hull, it's a plus five. Now I need 15 or less. That's pretty good odds. Um, so, uh, and uh, again, range modifiers, other, other types of shots may modify that. So... The other thing you probably should know, people always ask, you know, are there special kinds of shot? Yeah, read about them. There's a grape shot, which is anti-personnel, does almost no damage to anything else. Um, but it has huge range modifiers for long range, so not a long range thing. Uh, there's bar shot, which you can add to grape shot, uh, or you can add it to double shot. And I, since I just mentioned it, double shot. Uh, double shotting has to be loaded special. Uh, it um, basically halves your effective range so you take all your modifiers at uh as if the range was double what it really is 
Um, so that's a little bit about cannon fire. Um, I would uh, tell you that when you're making a shot with a cannon, uh, you're, you're going to be maneuvering in a position to do that. And you want to maneuver so that your ship's broadside uh, basically has its fire arc, which you can... It's basically 90 degrees, and it's 45 degrees off top dead center. All right, so uh, you want to think of your ship as having butterfly wings to the side. So um, you want to take shots that are going to be effective uh, at hitting your opponent. And you remember your blind plotting. So you're not necessarily going to know as camera's uh, giving me fits here today. Wow, that, that had to fix it. All right, so moving on. Uh, you're not necessarily going to know where your opponent is moving to. So you want to actually ac account for the best possible two places they could move to and make sure that your butterfly wings will cover that. And that will give you shots most of the time. Uh, the most effective shot you can make in the game is what we call a tee shot. If you want to uh, get your ship so that it is it is firing down the length of the deck, you get double damage rolls for that. If it's off like this, like the end of it's over, but it's you know like that, it's called a rake. Um, if you try to plot to get a T or a rake, uh, a lot of times you'll get teed or raked. It uh, tends to be better to just, again, try to, 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 to make the ship so that uh, uh, it covers you know all the different places they can move to. Uh, so that's a little bit about gunnery. Uh, hopefully that's helpful. Uh, more in the rule book, obviously, or uh, online, or uh, ask a GM or an experienced player. Uh, hope that's been helpful. Have a great day.